We've all heard about the oil disaster in the Gulf of Mexico. Perhaps soon a system from Europe will arrive. I invited two gentlemen who say that they can destroy all with a simple street cleaner. Welcome Harald Müller and Frank Kuhlmann. Thank you very much. Hello. I noticed that you brought a simple street cleaner with you and you say that you can honestly destroy oil. How did you get the idea to use such a simple street cleaner to achieve that? What gave us that idea? I have known Mr. Cool for a year now. He showed me how the product works. And now in this situation of the oil spill in the USA, it seems to be appropriate. It was then that I said that we must do everything possible. And we must provide a service of people to assist these people and introduce our product to them. The product is 100% safe for the environment. We should not use this product indiscriminately and we must provide a service of people to assist these people and introduce our product to them. The product is 100% safe for the environment. This oil film does not evaporate. The structure of oil gets decomposed and so nature can thus diminish this oil by itself. Have you already tried it? Did you travel to America or have you communicated with the authorities by letters? Yes, we have sent many letters and also to public institutions from Governor Schwarzenegger to the Lord Mayor of New York. We have also made contact with different oil concerns, trade papers, which are read by people in the oil business. And Arnie had not answered yet? Nobody. Nobody till now. We cannot get through. Mr. Kuhl, this product is your idea. Perhaps you can explain to us how it actually works. I see you have brought with you different kinds of oil. First of all, we have an ordinary kind of cooking oil, just to show you that it works. With the cleaner, we do nothing more than to break up the chain of molecules. We break up the oil. When that has happened, nature then can do the rest. I will demonstrate that to you. But normal olive oil is probably easier to destroy than the oil in the Gulf of Mexico. That is refined oil. We are talking about heavy oil in America, which is not refined oil. It is also not so fine. That is for our product easier to work on. Is this one here heavier as well? Yes, it's heavier. That is when you use the street cleaner. I'm very excited. Spill a little bit. Yes, it is breaking up. That is immediately dissolved. Normally water will not bind with oil, but we can achieve that. Would you like a tissue? The street cleaner is biodegradable. That has been proved. But for us, when we venture into the sea, is it harmless to our skin? Is it bad that I just put my hand in it? Not at all. It is dermatologically tested and is harmless for every living creature in this world. It is nothing more than hemp and yeast and three kinds of oil. Just like beer with hemp and yeast. <laughs> nice. But it's not for human consumption. We like to show you another experiment. Waste oil? Diesel, waste oil and worse you can have. Old motor oil. I take a little bit on my hand. Would my rings be okay? Nothing will happen to your rings. It's harmless, yes. Wow. Just rub your hand. It is already coming off. It becomes immediately liquid, uh, till there is no more oil. We have now the oil in its own components dissolved. Nature would have taken 100 years for that. And the skin is affected? No, dermatologically impossible. No, it smells like oil. You have to explain to the viewers what had happened. You have already sent Arnie a letter as well the Lord Mayor of New York and you received no reactions. What do they want? Would they not like to take a can under each arm and assist with the oil catastrophe? Right. We would like that, but the problem is that there in the USA an extreme lobbying will take place. Such a product can easily harm other industries if it comes out on the market. Times would be over where unknown harmful chemicals can be thrown into the sea without having any knowledge about its consequences. At this moment we fight one catastrophe with another, 
I like to demonstrate that again. People are always wondering, hey, what are you doing? You can't do that. But this means it is actually completely harmless. Did you see that? Of course, it tastes horrible. What does it taste like? It tastes horrible. I will not do that. This will never be a success in the bar. But one will notice it is not harmful. It does not hurt your tongue or something like that, or in your mouth or your mucous membranes. No, no. But what are you going to do now? Would you like to go to America to show them and convince the authorities? We would like to fly to America with 100 liters of this product to show the people. But I think you will run into problems at the airport straight away. Yes, that is the problem. No way we can bring so much liquid into America without it being confiscated. When public institutions would ask, okay, bring it here and tell us how it works, then there would be no problem to bring it. But when we would go to the airport with five canisters under our arms... I think you would be arrested. Precisely. You are the chemist. Um, tell us the oil races straight to the Florida Keys. Is it possible to just pour the solution, the street cleaner, into the water? It is a concentrate. It will thin out by itself and break up the oil. When the oil covers the beach, we must have a nutritive solution for the microbes, which will otherwise need a hundred years to achieve that. Think about it this way. The microbes are in the water, in the sand, in the plants, but they need to feed themselves. This concentration is nothing else than, for example, a steak. The microbes multiply themselves hundredfold, and they consume the oil. We accelerate that too. According to the population increase, the oil will have disappeared in about 15 days. And the birds that came in contact with the oil, can they be cleaned with this cleaner? They can be cleaned up using the same cleaner. But did you tell them about it? Did you receive any answer? Tests have been done, the result papers were forwarded, but no answers as yet. When a bird is cleaned with whichever solution, say petrol or caustic solutions, it is not properly cleaned. It might still absorb loads of harmful chemicals. But with our product, as I mentioned before, it's harmless. You can almost use it as a hand cream. It's totally harmless. Is it also possible to use it in other applications without dissolving the oil? Well, the boats, for instance, which are soiled by the oil in the Gulf of Mexico, may be cleaned without damaging nature again. That is our next plan. The beach may be cleaned, but the whole fishing fleet is still soiled by the oil. Cleaning all the boats with chemicals is inviting the next catastrophe. Anyway, I wish you success and that someone will care and answer your letters and invite you to America so that you can assist them. Thank you very much. You have been viewing and listening to Thema